Hi, and welcome. Come on in, come on in. My name is Miladies. I am your new shop leader here at Bronx Witch Headquarters, and I'm going to be doing a reading today for all 12 zodiac signs. And I like to do them by elements. That way it makes me feel like I'm being productive since there's 12 of, 12 of us. Now, I'm not going to go deep into Venus retrograde because that's what I do over on Galactic Hood Buddha. You guys can um, expect the video dropping between today and tomorrow. However, I was called to do a reading for Venus retrograde, right, in Leo, but our shadow side. What is holding us back? What aspect of us we don't want to look at? And um, this is more for an advice so that you can utilize it now until September 3rd. Venus went retrograde, I think it was yesterday. Why am I smiling? Everybody's like, no. Um, I would say be open for past lovers to come in and receive some closure. You don't have to do that in person, um, but there is going to be a lot of people coming in to our lives, especially our exes and in general relationships, whether if it's a boss, a coworker, or a friend, and they're coming in for closure and to clear their mindset of whatever transpired between you guys again is not for you to accept this invitation but it's more of like in order for some of this energy to dissipate and declutter we also have the right to give the other person an ability to recognize what they have created during the relationships that we've had for example if you have an ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend whatever your preference is and they, you guys didn't end up in good terms, and it's two, three years later, and you still got them lingering in your mind, or when you see their picture, you be like, or oh, F that. You know, all those little things that we have as humans, um, we may have been able to already transmute and transpire that energy, but the other person is still holding on to that as well. And so, whether it's through a text message, whether it's through a phone call, allow them to express themselves you don't have to answer you don't have to um you don't have to say anything a lot of times we also have to recognize that other people need that platform so one of the things you want to recognize during this retrograde so it's from july 22nd to september 3rd but venus will still be in leo until october 8th if i'm not mistaken so keep that in mind is is the long journey what do we do with ourselves during this time, right? The opportunities here, I have my notes, the opportunities here is to explore your self-expression through creativity. Leo is about creativity, it's about um, being the sun, right? The sun represents Leo, so it's brightness, is your identity, who you are. Leo is connected to the heart chakra. What is working with you from the deep depth of your soul and it wants to come out. It may not look like what you're doing right now. Within this time frame, you may even switch it up and if you always wanted to be an artist, you end up actually diving deep into that and going into that creative side of you and you might just end up being an artist and selling art on the side or whatever the case might be. But this is not the time to shut down your gifts. It's, it's not. This is your time to shine. This is your time to dig into yourself. This, yeah, this is a time to be selfish. Selfish in a way that when you come out of this retrograde, you'll be able to share with others what you transpired, um, what you shifted, and that could inspire them to shift as well. Think of yourself as an inspiration um, power bomb in motion. <laughs> whatever spirit was putting in my mind. Um, also, you want to reflect on the past relationships. Reflect, not dwell. Remember, when we do go back to these relationships in our mind, our brain doesn't recognize if it's actually happening in the moment or if it's not. So you want to be the observer of 
this situation, when you go into your past relationships, what are the lessons? Be the observer. Come out. This is the situation. They cheated on you. Come out of that situation. What was the cheating? What, what do you feel transpired? A lot of times it's a reflection of us. If we cheat, if we're cheated on, then that might be you cheating yourself on time, self-love, and all these things. Again, whatever we are looking in our relationships, whether it's friends, family, coworkers, you want to make sure that you're also treating yourself in that way so that it can be a reciprocation. We're a mirror of each other. I'm a mirror of you right now. You're a mirror of me. I'm about to find out about my shadow side alongside with you. So I'm going to be using these decks right here so that I can do this. And then one of the challenges that's going to be transpiring is, that might be the word of the day, transpire, transpire. <laughs> um, avoiding impulsive actions and decisions. Let alone that um, Venus is in Leo, but as a self-taught astrologer, where is it at in your chart? Not everything is going to be hitting you the same way that it's going to be hitting your sister, your brother, your lover, your kids. Remember that as this energy is transpiring, it's also happening to everyone around you. So you're not the only one going through some grieving and relationship concerns and issues. It's all of us as a collective. So... You can go to astro.com or astro slash seek.com and it's free. You can go and look up your natal chart and find out where is Venus in your chart and how is that affecting you. Okay, because the actions and decisions that we're going to be making are going to be a bit blurry. We not we may not be quite emotionally intelligent and maybe react to things as opposed to allowing things to happen and then take an action. It's very hard as humans. I mean, I even go through that myself. Um, and confronting shadow qualities within. So nobody wants to look at their dark side. Everybody is love and light, right? So we want to go into our dark side. Our dark side teaches us our lessons. Whether we like it or not, our dark side shows up when we get pushed to the edge. So I'm not an angry person. The minute that somebody steps on your toe, and it's just a step on the toe, but you've been accumulating anger, 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 anger. That little little toe incident is going to turn into something big. Why the big you stepped on my toe? So we want to dive into our shadow side. And the best way, I say, is to write things down. If you're mad, upset, you want to curse somebody else, have a venting notebook. Vent it out. What the fuck? <laughs> all those things, you want to write it down. So that that's your shadow side. And we all have it. We all have it. Each uh, we was just talking here at the shop about archetypes and um, talking about our shadow and our light side. We all, Earth is a duality schoolroom. It is a duality schoolroom. So therefore, it's about bringing balance. We may want to be love and light to the end of the world, or we may want to be on our dark side. It's, your journey is up to you. However, being here, the balance of working with both sides can provide you with so much knowledge of yourself and how other people view you. Okay. Yeah, see the natal chart aspect is here. Natal charts really help out. And uh, we have Ali here who's expressing her um, experience with natal charts. Okay, so we're going to start with, let's do fire signs because the... Um, because it's Leo, right? Leo. And then also there's some fire right here happening for us. So we'll do Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. What are your shadow, um, What what's coming up for you on your shadow side and how you can best use this to help you throughout this time? Hey, Mika. All right, the angels and archangels, thank you so much for being here, for protecting and for guiding. We have the fire signs for Venus, retrograde July 22nd to September 9th, 2023. What are they looking out for when it comes to their shadow side? All right, guys. 
But immediately what comes to mind for my fire signs is your subconscious mind, decluttering your subconscious mind, diving deep into what is happening back here. All right. So that does talk about how were you raised? What was instilled into your membrane? Insane in the membrane. I don't know why I came up, but some of us might have grown up in chaotic situations. How is that affecting you now? How can you declutter your subconscious mind? Um, and that is part of your shadow side. Um, subconscious mind is about 93%, 98% of who we are is like uh, the tower of a desktop computer. And then the desktop screen is our subconscious, our conscious mind. So you see, maybe now you got the thin screen. So that's, if you can picture those are your thoughts happening in the moment, but your subconscious mind is holding the rest of that. For my fire sign, dig deep into how you're speaking. I know myself, I'm part of a, a class that's helping me uh, shift the way I speak. Instead of saying want, we say choose. So everything I do, I choose to be happy. I choose to say hi to you. I choose. Everything is a choice. So that's what I'm doing. I want to share that because it makes a lot of sense why the conscious mind came in. All right, Aries, the mother of swords. So your shadow side right now is to dig deep. And when we think about mother, this is the queen, right? The queen of swords. This is about vocalizing yourself. In the past, you may have been unable to really share who you are and what you've been through. With the snake, I automatically, automatically think of when a snake sheds. So during this Venus retrograde in Leo, what it's asking you to do is to shed, voice what you've been hiding, write it down. You, uh, some of you, I hear a mini, mini book. So this could be a mini book that you, I'm here on Etsy. So some of you, if you are Aries and um, are into writing or have been writing, it's time for you to put your thoughts out there. With the snake, I'm also getting that some of you guys have been in a space of betrayal in the past so what it's asking for you to do is if you've been nesting you see those are eggs i just noticed those are eggs um if you've been nesting some of your thoughts and ideas it's time to organize them and by the time venus goes direct in leo you'll be able to share that with the world that does talk about deep deep cleansing shedding and when we talk about relationships with Venus and Leo, you want to, some of you guys have, um, even if you're talking on social media, some of you uh, Aries have advice for people when it comes to relationships. Some of you guys have business advice for partnering up with people. With these lines in the back, this talks about working on your root chakra because it's kind of red and also working on your three things, root, sacral, and your solar plexus. For confidence, your solar plexus, your root chakra to build your foundation on that aspect of speaking and um, the sacral for creativity. You're not doing this by yourself, so do contact your spirit guides and ask them to guide you on what to speak on. Now, it is from July to September. It's about it's in July. I'm going to count my fingers, July, September, July, August. September. So it's about a two-month um, time frame, even if you're writing for yourself. But it really does talk about shedding and speaking, even if you're in a small group of people and you have a couple of things that you want to say to people to be able to share who you are aries it's time to speak up all right sagittarius oh y'all got my fire signs is coming out with the mother the mother of pentacles sagittarius working on your finances getting on top of your finances i'm also getting When it comes to a project, now some of you may be working in a specific agency and you've been developing this project and 
it's still time for you not to share it with the world, which makes a lot of sense with the retrograde. What is asking you to do is to cultivate your inner child and your confidence with your project. So with this Venus retrograde, it does talk about pricing your projects. If you're at an agency, are they paying you more for the project? A raise coming in within the next two months after you present this to someone. Business owners that also talks about getting your finances in order, having somebody be your financial advisor during this time so that you can be able to move forward and feel comfortable in the things that you're going to be doing. This does talk about comfortability for my Sagittarius during this Venus in Leo retrograde. How comfortable are you with your finances? How comfortable are you with spending? Some of you may be feeling that there's a blockage this time frame would be great to declutter your subconscious mind when it comes to finances with the mother i do feel like after the season is over you're going to be able to master it with the organizations that you have i do hear if you, any of you sagittarius are connected to a scorpio they may be able to assist you with your finances as well but for my scorpios is more focus on your finances and your self-worth with the pentacles how worthy do you feel to receive these finances and this time frame is going to give you the ability to dig into your subconscious mind and declutter this the way to reprogram our subconscious mind is to listen to something over and over and over again i work in an agency ad okay no no let's let's use this period let's use this period Sag, so that you can be able to cultivate that. And you're protected. You guys are protected. Just like in my fire signs, y'all protected too. It's a circle of protection. So don't be afraid. Leo. Leo. The daughter of pentacles. Leo. Leo, you being scrubbed down, turned around, upside down. For this period, it's about being noble, right? A lot of people like to use the word humble. Mm, go look it up. I don't really like the word noble. But this talks about, you see the feet? The feet are in, in the ground, right? But then they're also not being visible. So this is a for you at this current time to glide through this Venus retrograde with ease. You're being protected here by your spirit guides. There's also, this uh, gives me a notion of the three kings and the stars. So you're being guided right now. You may feel lost, right? Because I feel like, it's like looking in the, in the atmosphere, just like, where do I go? What do I do? But you're being guided. And you will be, um, some of you will be contacted in your dreams. And you're going to be receiving information when it comes to your next steps. So really pay attention to your dreams. Sit next to, I mean, have a, a water and a notebook next to your bed. That's not for all of you. Uh, for others of you, if you're a business owner, you're going to be moving forward. It's actually going to get really busy. You're not going to know where it's coming from. And this is where the confusion may come in because it's like, what? Why are so many people coming in? Um, excuse me, business owner, didn't you manifest this six months ago? Everything that's happening right now for us is something that we put into motion six months, a year ago. So be open to that. Do not close yourself out. And then I'm hearing shower. So for my Leos, during the shower, you can use that to also manifest and shift your subconscious mind. That is the only time where we are not distracted. If you bring your phone in the shower, please just put it down for a few seconds, please. All right. And really focus in the shower, at least for the next two months and use it to your advantage. Water is really good to restructure your DNA, your aura. So you want to be able to. Hey, it didn't even rain, but it's about to rain. <laughs> And with the daughter, it does talk about taking a step back, 
and finding or allowing calling in that's not fine let's try not to find right because sometimes i don't it's fine no calling in someone who can guide you as well whether if it's in the spiritual realm or whether if it's in the physical realm for anyone who's a business owner anyone who is working at an agency or in general when it comes to structuring your relationships all right one more thing i'm getting i am sensing that self-love is at its ultimate max at this current time so just keep adding to that keep adding to your cup keep let it overflow keep adding keep adding because there, there's going to be a time where you're going to feel like it's not filled up anymore and you can go ahead and you know what as a matter of fact create a jar for yourself and fill it up with little pieces of paper of self-love um affirmations or anything that you um feel and throughout these next two months you feel your energy depleting from this uh bubble of self-love Dig into there, read it to yourself, and continue to add to your self-love jar. All right? I do want to mention, I forgot to mention, this is like a 40-day, excuse me, 40-day, 40 nights with Venus in Leo retrograde. 40 days and 40 nights. So, I just want that y'all to keep that in mind. All right, so we're going to move to our... Water. I'm hearing our water signs. All right. Keep in mind that this is a general message. All right. For Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Venus, Retrograde, and Leo. Whew. July 22nd to September 3rd. Wow. Take a deep breath. Water signs. I feel a sense of relief. Guess this cancer season really shook us up. Oh, you're welcome. Listen, it's all in the mind. We're here. We're here. We're all here together. All right, cancer season. Did it beat us up? kind of beat me up. I like cancer season because it gives me a, a, a sense to say, hey, I need to relax. Leo comes with that masculine energy and cancer comes with that feminine energy. And our, many of us at times have trouble tapping in depending on how we were raised and just all aspects, self-love. So when cancer season came in, some of us may have felt very tired, emotional, and all these things. So what are signs? I feel you. All right, cancer, let's see what you got. You have the Daughter of Swords. Okay, Cancer. Cancer for them. So for this Leo, Venus in Leo retrograde, time to stand up. Stand up and back up what you are speaking about. And with this owl, I do sense that in the nighttime, during this retrograde, you will be receiving visits from your spiritual team to help you speak up for yourself. Whether if it's at work, a cancer, we, we, I'm hearing passive. Oh yeah, that is all. Passive can wait just a little bit. We wanna be aggressive, not in a malicious way. We're not talking, because we know how y'all could get malicious, but no, we talk about in a way of growth, right? Stand up for yourself and growth during this retrograde. We're, I'm sensing that other people may want to stay, take a step back during this retrograde. I do sense that my cancer step up, step up. This is like come to the forefront and no more people pleasing at this current time. People are going to be coming in also during this retrograde and asking for stuff. And you can see it's behind these um, dots are behind you. It's like you first. You first and then everybody else. So for this season, focus on yourself first. Your shadow is the people pleasing, the putting yourself last. This season is for you for the next two months is show up for yourself first. Say no. No. And you're going to receive the help. Have a throat chakra affirmation, whatever. Read a Bible, scripture, 
anything that is going to assist you in standing up for yourself. And maybe after September 3rd, you may not want to stand up for yourself anymore, but during the season, you, there's, you can see how dark it is. It's like, it's going to come full force. But as you begin to stand up for yourself, things are going to get lighter for you. As you can see, maybe like one person probably that's going to really understand you is going to be able to get through these next two months with you. But everybody else, they're going to try to say, hey, why are you acting like that? So what? Act like that. <laughs> You're feeling the lately. What is the time? The total affirmation you recommend. I um, I have. Oh, all right, let me just say some right now. I'm gonna create it from my mind, but I'm also on TikTok and I created this beautiful uh four or five affirmations. That's going to, matter of fact. Let me go on. Can I go on there? I'm gonna give it to y'all right now. Yes, because mm -mm, we don't have time for that. Alright. So I'm on uh, TikTok Galactic Hood Buddha and the affirmation that I did my throat chakra is aligned with my authentic self. Divine intelligence speaks through me with ease. Now you can say God, you can say the universe, you can say Mother Earth, my spiritual team is changeable. It is easy to speak with compassion. Mm. Because you could curse somebody else with compassion. <laughs> I speak with clarity and empowerment. Now, you say this in the mirror uh, three times. You can three times a day. You can say it as many times. You can record it and listen to it. It's about reprogramming yourself and getting yourself to that space. All right? All right, y'all. All right, Scorpio. And Scorpio, Woo! Scorpio, completion, Venus and Leo time frame is completion for you. This is the 10 of pentacles. So if you've been going through some financial situations in the past six months, I'm hearing nine months, I'm hearing it's time for you to go back, reflect on your past relationships with money, and then allow yourself to face what would be your money issues and you're going to convert that from being money issues to money thriving money works with me i allow money to flow to me take this time frame to declutter your relationship with money that has to do no this is scorpio pisces is coming up scorpio all right and we're going to go with the colors, right? There's the red with the root chakra. So build the foundation and the confidence. Look at your, look at your fucking statements. Look at your statements, Scorpio. Stop playing. All right? It's time for you to come up. And you will. You see this 10? Your relationship by the end of this time frame, should you take action? Because it's all about action. It's going to plan out for you you're gonna see your bank account go up if you mess with herbs like cinnamon nutmeg mint um mejorana if you mess with herbs go with it all right and if you don't have the energy this is why there's professionals that can assist you to jumpstart and quickly shift your mindset scorpio so we're all in the space of needing to receive assistance and some of us may be on a hot course and think we could do it by ourselves that was me at one point and i realized mm -hmm, baby <laughs> you don't even read books by yourself right i play too much all right <laughs> so you work on your root mother earth stabilizes my foundation every time i walk my money increases things like that right then you go into your solar plexus, build your foundation. Then you go and you build the confidence and the worthiness that you deserve this, Scorpio. Then uh, with the heart chakra, include your desires into your money. A lot of times we, we I want money, I want money. Yeah, the universe, God, so the universe is going to send you the money. But if you didn't clear out your finances, if you didn't clear out the space, and if you are not giving and receiving or learning how to fucking receive, there's a blockage. 
all right so then from there you move into speaking your money into existence building self-worth desires speak it out loud and visualize visualize yourself being debt free i choose to be debt free i choose to see abundance in my bank account on a daily basis oh my god how good it feels for my bank account to go cha-ching every day <laughs> things like that all right so for you it's heavily decluttering your notion when it comes to money in the past and how your parents or your guardians dealt with it and now it's time to build your own legacy pisces where my pisces at anybody here I love you guys for tuning in, for commenting. I'm here at Bronx Witch uh, Wednesdays, Saturdays, and uh, Sundays in person. What we got for feces? All right. I mean, with Venus, I'm not going to lie with Venus. It really is about self-worth and money and i'm happy that it's coming out this way all right pisces there is going to be a dark moment during this venus and leo retrograde right but this talks about planting your seeds this talks about watching sitting back and watching what you put out there grow so some of my Pisces have been putting in a lot of work when it comes to their finances. You've been doing the work. And so now Venus retrograde is like, chill, relax. Get into your visualization mode. Do a vision board. I'm here and do a vision board. Why? Because I see like this is like a board. Um, and there's going to be some opportunities that may not fly, right? This is like down, 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 down. But then this one is up. So this is a time for you to begin to water and allow these opportunities to resurface. Yes. Bring the deck out. I like to use this deck for shadow readings, right? I love it. I love shadow readings. And so this also means climbing up a ladder uh, that type of energy so you've been here not knowing where to go opportunities coming in some may not have gone somewhere but this time around there's one opportunity that's going to be transpiring for you within the next couple of months open up your horizon expect the unexpected and why well, i say expect the unexpected because uh, Pisces, you're going to be looking at this is how things are going to be coming in for me. And your spirit guys is like, no, this is how it's going to be. And you may not be happy about that. You may not be like, I don't want to be in this area. Oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. I would like for you to go back. Do not cancel out what you've already put out into the universe to come to fruition for you. Sit back. Opportunities are going to come, come in for you. Sit back. Feel which one. And I'm talking about opportunities, not just in finances, but in love, all right? Opportunities in community. Build, uh, some of uh, my Pisces are moving into a new community, brand new community. And again, it may not be the community that you want it to be part of, but this community is going to support you. So the next two months, begin to speak into what community you want to be part of. This is where the visualization comes in. You have all your tools. There's no more studying that you need to do, Pisces. And if you are studying, take the next two months to bring stuff into completion. Seven is the number of spirit. Allow your intuition to guide you during this time. All right? You got some good stuff happening, baby. Time to dig in. Stop playing. Oh, and also Pisces, a herbal bath. If you take spiritual bath, take an herbal bath. Spiritual baths. Shout out to Leslie. Oh my God. Again, Bronx HQ is amazing community. You guys can come and learn. Learn to do things on your own. Learn how to do a bath. We had Leslie here yesterday do a sweet spiritual bath. 
um, it's good for cleansing your aura. I'm, I've been doing spiritual baths since I was born. I digress. When you're young, you're like, why? Why I gotta take a bath with this cold water? All right, focus, my ladies. We're gonna go into earth signs. Earth signs. But I'm getting called to pull out a card for the collectives. Get out of your. <laughs> get up. I, I, I literally, y'all see me pull it out. It says, get out of your ex's page, say a prayer, and go the fuck to sleep. I'm going to read it. You're not going to find anything worthwhile snooping around your ex's Insta or Facebook or Snap, whatever the fuck. There's, and I'm not, this is saying it. I love these cards. They're your ex for a reason. Ask yourself what you're looking for from them and see if you can give it to yourself. Are they calling us out? You almost always can. Then... Say a little prayer for all the lumpy, bumpy, broken hearts in the world, especially your own. Double brownie points if you can manage one of your ex's hearts too. Okay, time for bed now. So as a collective with this Venus in, look, I literally pulled it out from here. Uh, with this Venus in Leo retrograde, get off your fucking next page. <laughs> Oh, I see why. Uh, Taurus or Earth sign, what y'all doing? Y'all stalking people's pages, Earth sign? All right, let's go. Venus and Leo retrograde, July 22nd to September 3rd for the Earth sign. Woo! Uh. All right, earth sign grounding, 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 grounding. I'm hearing grounding with the water season and the fire season. You guys are like, ground yourself, get yourself grounded. Um, go to the park, walk. Hello, how you doing? Walk. Um, Sit by a tree, do a meditation um, that has to do with grounding. Listen, first and foremost, you guys all you need is five to ten minutes to get yourself back in order. Let alone that it's hard for us to even sit there and be like, but if you're sitting down and you're on a train, depending on who you are, where you live, pardon me. If you're in New York City, you're on a train, you're in your car, you got the light, take a deep breath, bring your belly out. And say this grounding, 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 grounding. That's gonna help you ground. You don't have to say a lot. All right. Hey, Amy. All right, so Taurus, since y'all wanna pop out, Taurus, you have the Three of Cups. For you, it's going to be your relationships, your friendships, all right? They may have seen some type of separation in the past or the Tauruses may have gone through something major. Um, but here, this is you, and you've, you've been able to nourish yourself when it comes to these relationships, friendships, um, and it's time to bring in the worthiness right bring in the boundaries in your relationship the next two months bring in clarity some people you may have stopped talking to some people and they like what the fuck happened this is a time for you to go back and get clarity it's okay it is not a problem at the end of the day a friendship is a friendship some people may understand you some people may not understand you but for the most part there is clarity and you'll be able to have these conversations within the next couple of months um I do also get um, new friendships coming in, new friendships, new communities. So uh, for the next two months, explore. Explore what these communities are in cups. It's uh, also about your emotions. So there might be some emotional conversations that's going to be happening when it comes to friends, family, and work. 
not necessarily romantic wise because the Three of Cups is about friendship. All right, and then ask yourself: Are my friends supporting me with the adventures that I'm going to be exploring? Not the ones that you've done in the past, because we see who showed up in the past. But are the friends that you're going to be reconciling with or having communications with, are they going to be supporting you with what you're going to be doing in the future? And that is very important. Because the same friends that we may have thought would be support us with our future adventures may not be it. It took me some time to realize that, especially when I would switch from career to career to career, that the friends that I was a social worker with, friends that I was so a social worker with, they were not going to support me becoming a fitness instructor. And those that I was part of the fitness world with, world with were not going to support me in my spiritual world. So are you open for new friendships? Are you open for new community? Taurus? And you guys are good at, I have a lot of my friends are Taurus, a lot of my best friends are Taurus, my long-term friends are Taurus. They don't play around with their friendships, so <laughs> they don't even like hanging out with people. <laughs> All right, Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. God damn, Capricorn. Oh, oh, oh. All right, Cap. I'm a Cap rising, so let's see where this is going. Um, you ready? What's up? What are we going through here? You got these next two months to release some of this. You've been holding a lot, a lot, a lot. And you see those eyes? It's a back and forth thing. It's, it's like me, this is how you feel, me against the world, right? And with you against the world, your thoughts are not aligned with each other. You don't feel at this current time even seen. Oh. Mm. Okay. Capricorns. Let's take a deep breath because. First and foremost, the first step is for the next two months, write shit out. Your thoughts are coming at you heavily. I would recommend to go speak to someone. Your thoughts are over or overcrowding your ability to get things done. You don't know where to go or what to do. You feel extremely stuck. The advice, I'm gonna take out another card for you, Cap, because mm -mm. These are some cards that I created, and it's uh, affirmation cards. Well, it's affirmation because I like to ask my brain questions. Mm -hmm. Let me see what area to focus on because that's a lot. Physical. Why am I so calm when I take deep breaths? So this really talks about taking deep breaths, going, centering yourself, meditation, quiet time to allow your thoughts to let you know what's the next steps for you. Breath work, yoga, and really asking yourself where you at right now when it comes to love, when it comes to money, spirituality, um, well that's finances, I was gonna say finances again, friendship and your desires, are you in alignment with them? Do you feel like I'm hearing somebody took my dreams away? How true is that? Can you revamp, rewrite your dreams, Capricorn, and bring it into fruition with this Venus retrograde? Retrograde is for review, right? So we're reviewing. So this is not like, oh, this is where you're going to stay. You're reviewing this area of your life. And by you reviewing this area of your life, 
you're physically going to be taking action, taking deep breaths. Every time you feel that you have anxiety, ground yourself. <sighs> Sit with your chest. I take deep breaths. Why am I so calm when I take deep breaths? Why am I so calm? A thought comes up. <laughs> Come back. So it is going to be quite a heavy one for you. Nonetheless, I want you to reach out for support. You're not by yourself. You're not. All right? Love you. Somebody's asking uh, people about people around them. Um, uh, right now, people around you may not truly get you. So I want you to be bold enough to go into a new community. All right. Well, mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna give you some of this. This is like a uh, spray that I got from Mahara Spiritual Luxury Bad Mind Repellent. We're gonna we're gonna take the bad mind out of here. Mm. Cleanse yourself, um, Cap. The angels and the angels, thank you so much for being here, for protecting. Virgo! Virgo. This um, Venus in Leo is also going to be assisting you as your season comes in. Oh! Mm, we leave in things. Oh, Virgo! Baby, I feel empowered now. Look at this. You know why you feel empowered? Is broken glass and stuff like that. This means big old moon in the house. This means yeah, that's it. That is all. This season is all about you starting from scratch, getting deep into your dark side. What that means, deep, deep into your dark side, that love and light shit, throw it out the window for this season. For this season. Throw this love and light shit out the window, which means until September 3rd. After that, you can go back to your love and light. Which means that is all about you. That if somebody tries to cross you, you stand up for yourself and you be bold about it. You will break some hearts. There may also be some relationships that you're going to leave behind. Be bold about it. Be strong about it. No. Excuse me. Be bold. Be resilient. Strong is overrated for me, especially when it comes to grieving. Be strong. Nah. See how your mind goes back to what you're used to saying, but you have to come back and be, mm -mm. be resilient, be truthful, all right? And yes, I am sensing that some of y'all, if there's a, in your area a break room where you can go in and break shit, go in there and do that, Virgo. This season is asking you to go in and do an activity to break something. And this break is going to represent your initiation to the new you, okay? Uh, being able to destroy how you was a people pleaser, all right? And Virgo, let me explain something. Y'all are the ones who can think about something and bring it into reality immediately. So that thought frame of yours, once you decide to leave this thing behind, is going to move you to your next step and your next step and your next step. So I really want you to dig into your shadow side, all right? And that does talk about in all relationships because it's a war, it's cups. So mother, father, all right? Uh, we were talking about in a chat how our elders really still disrespect us. <laughs> And we, oh, 38, 39, 40, 50, and our elders still disrespect us. And, you know, it's like respect your elders. How can we approach our elders with respect but still honoring ourselves? So that deep conversation with your mother, with your father, with your aunt, your guardian, um, deep conversation with your boss. Maybe you don't like the way your boss talks to you. This is why we use that throat chakra um, affirmation and ask to speak with compassion because you can show up through compassion and still get your point across. You can still show up with uh, setting up boundaries, right? And the challenge here is that when you're in retrograde, for all of us, when we're in retrograde, the challenge here is 
to really dig deep into knowing that when it goes into direct, we're going to get pressed. So you want to make sure that you stick to your ground. What you're shifting through in this retrograde, you're going to move forward with that energy and continue that process for yourself because it doesn't end just with this retrograde. All right? Okay. So we did. Oh, we got air coming up. I ain't forget about y'all. I'm like, who's next? Who's next? Go, go, go. All right, focus. All right. How y'all feeling out there? Let me know. Um, what's your big threes? I'm a Aries, Gemini, Capricorn. But also, I really want y'all to know where y'all Venus is at. I got an Aries Venus. Your Venus besides the moon. All right, here's a little tip. So I randomly just do this thing. But when it comes to love, and relationships, I want you to think about Venus, Juno, which is an asteroid, a star, the moon, Uranus, and I want to say Neptune, Uranus and Neptune, because Uranus is the planet that is further away from Earth, but is a collective influence, and is the rebellious side of us, the eccentric side of us, the side of us that uh, pushes away from the norm. Depending on where it's at for you, it can affect your relationships. Some of us are rebellious and we don't want to be in relationships. Okay, so we have King, I might say all this wrong, but it's okay. King, King, King Bit, Sag, Libra, Libra, ooh, okay. It's like Dario, Sag, Virgo, Virgo, nice. I like how you still Sag. Ooh, so it's either balance in the collective, organization. Either way, it's organization. And definitely out there in the world, we, we need you out there. Taurus, Sun, Sag, Moon, Leo, Rising. Then we have Aquarius. Hey, huh? stand up, Aquarius. Libra, Leo. Ooh, I like that. Air, air, fire. Aquarius, we are. Ponte la pila, put on your batteries because we we waiting for your guidance. <laughs> Don't be hiding. Don't hide, baby. I know you out there. And your gifts. All right. Air sign. Oh, yeah. There you go, my Aquarius. I'm going to do you first. Zodiac reading. Venus and Leo retrograde for... Air signs, Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra, 2023, July 22nd to September 3rd. Shadow energy. Why y'all tired? I'm tired. My air signs, y'all tired? What y'all tired for? Y'all thinking? Y'all were thinking I'm tired. Hold on. Woo. All right, Aquarius, the chariot. Not with you getting your hair done. <laughs> Aquarius, the season is for you to focus on your self worth. Deep, deep, deep self worth. This is a major arcana. Major arcana is what's happening currently in your life, which makes a lot of sense. This is the Venus and Leo retrograde from July 22nd to September 3rd. During that time, uplift yourself, dig deep into your confidence, dig deep into, yeah, dig deep into your confidence, your heart chakra, um, your worthiness. Get your hair done, get your nails did, and for my males, get your shape up, get cute. Y'all see this? It's going to be a smooth season. Hey, hi, my love. So Aquarius, you see the, this is why I say the heart chakra, self-worth. Then the, I was laughing because look at the hair just flowing. Oh, well, my hair just flows. <laughs> but you can get away, you can get away. <laughs> but it's about self-worth. It's shining a light on yourself. 
don't wait for nobody else to shine a light on you this is you shining a light on yourself all right aquarius so this season is about you releasing the old ways you used to treat yourself all right and amplifying i'm gonna use that word again amplifying your self-worth amplifying who you want to be to who you choose to be, who you choose to be in a relationship and who you choose to be in a relationship with who is worthy of your presence so that's how Aquarius is who is worthy of my presence presence all right you don't see how this I don't know. this is how Aquarius is walking out. <laughs> so I do see that for the next two months surround yourself with people yes came right on time surround yourself with people who's going to keep you in that space hold yourself accountable all right pick accountability partners and i know aquarius you don't like to work with others but this is the time for you to connect with others all right connect with others And you see with the four corners here in red, that talks about, don't play with me, stamping it. Your four corners, stability is like a table. Stabilize your self-worth. Stabilize your, I'm giving accomplishments. What have you accomplished up to this time? How can you uplift yourself, right? I suggested this the other day. Write a self-love letter to yourself. Whatever it is that you desire for a partner, a business partner, your community to treat you, give it to yourself. I want to be well-known in the community, but I don't want too many people around me. Okay, fine. Then build that. Build that. So for the next two months, focus on yourself. Bye. Yes. Bye. If you have kids, yes, that does mean... Focus on your kids too. But remember that when you focus on yourself and your kids, all right, these birds be wilding because when you focus on yourself, your kids are going to be watching you. And as they watch you, they're going to start asking you, What are you doing, mom or dad? How can I do that for myself? So worry less about your kids for the next two months in the sense of. Give it to me, spirit. Still, you know, feed them and shit like that, but allow them to be free. Allow them to be free so you can focus on yourself because when you're in mom mode or dad mode or guardian mode, it's the tendency to forget about yourself. All right? Find a babysitter. Take them to... Y'all, I am a child. I love children. I don't have any myself. Nonetheless, manifest a babysitter. <laughs> manifest a babysitter. Let them go to camp. That friend that said, hey, let me get your daughter or your son so we can go somewhere. You obviously trust them because they're your friend. Give, it, give your kids up. Who the, who's this? This is Aquarius. Libra. Libra, you got the moon. Mm -hmm. My air signs, y'all all coming out with major arcanas. Y'all yeah, definitely, that's how I felt the heaviness. Because this is happening for y'all like, so you have the moon. There's a moment of truth for Libras. If we look at the balancing of the scales, you have two coming out. So the theme is two. So it's deep into your relationships, deep, deep down in your relationships. This talks about what relationship has have you. Mm, so for some of you, is literally your significant other, and this is a moment to join and elevate together talking about what has transpired between the relationship that you guys have built a lot of times we are in relationships for a very long time and okay yeah, thank you, thank you. sound this is sound healing over there okay so, with the moon, you can. I can talk to I got this mic so I can talk like this. Oh, okay. All right. So, with the moon, I have um, 
10. All right. So some of you have been in a relationship for the last 10 years, and there's a lot of growth that has happened. But if you can see at the top, it's gotten really thin. And there seems to be a space of not knowing where to go with each other. So it's important for us as our Libra scale law balancing of relationships to be authentic with your partner there's a full moon coming up in Aquarius talk to each other manifest some type of con oh is it an SMR oh <laughs> manifest some type of compassionate conversation within the next two months for those of you who are not in relationships, it does talk about you facing your fears of what a partnership is and how you're going to allow yourself to receive others. It is very, very, very deep for um, Libras. Libra, if anybody has been lying to you during this time when it comes to relationship, that is also going to show up. Because the moon is about deception. Let me tell y'all something during this Venus retrograde. Do your best to not start any new relationships. Even friendships. Some old friendships from past lives are going to be coming in. Right? Libra, I'm getting this especially for you. Like, some people might be coming in and acting like they changed and they really didn't change. So keep your eyes open and trust yourself. Building a relationship with yourself is very important. Build a relationship with yourself. And if you feel some type of way, somebody coming in, trying to talk to you, say a little prayer. Psalms is very good for saying a prayer. Uh, one that's easy for me is when people say that they want to come and talk to me or visit me, I basically say, Thank you, angels and archangels, for allowing me to connect with this person. If, not if, excuse me, should this meeting transpire, allow it to be compassionate, truthful, and uplifting for both parties. If it's not, then I don't want to be part of it. And if not in those exact words, but build that relationship with your spirit, guys. Like, why y'all bringing people around me if you know that they're going to cause me a headache? Give me some compassion to learn the lesson of all of this. I, I, I argue with my spirit, guys, all the time. I'll be like, <laughs> so y'all ain't warn me? they like, oh, we warned you. You didn't pay attention. I'm like, Ugh. all right. I feel my air signs. Y'all, create your nice bubble of happiness and stay there for the next two months you don't have to give explanations to nobody unless you're in a relationship be open about the communication and lastly we have gemini's Ooh, jemmy and yeah um, let me just make sure if the air signs are the only signs that all got major arcanas hold on Hey, wow. Yeah. Yes. So, Gemini, you got the strength card. You guys have been going through a lot. And Leo, right, is connected to um, the lion, the lioness. You see that infinity right here? That really talks about you gaining your strength from your third eye. Visualization. Trusting that what you see with your human two eyes is not the same as what your third eye is showing you. When your human eyes is showing you that things are not possible, your third eye is saying that it is possible. So for this season is for you to build the courage, build the foundation, and truly come from the heart, Gemini, right? I'm hearing... I've been scattering, uh, some of y'all saying, oh, I've been all over the place. I've been um, scattering my energy. This Leo, Venus in Leo retrograde is providing you with 
the ability to collect your energy so call in your energy allow yourself to know that people are going to be there to support you that flower that rose it's about receiving so gemini are you going to open up to receive or are you going to act like you can do it all on your own my i have my moon in gemini and um it makes a lot of sense right do you feel like you've been shunned out of a community gemini do you want to explore a new community you will find that within the next uh two months but it's honestly building the foundation for yourself are you ready to be part of a community or are you ready to be in that stabilized relationship do you see yourself in a stabilized relationship or are you going to use your two eyes to say oh the re no relationship has ever worked for me i'm just going to keep floating around maybe that baby that be the case but this is a time for you to explore that gemini's <clears throat> If you're going to have fun, fine, have fun. But to believe that probably a relationship is going to transpire during this time, because you're going to be a bit selfish. And some people may not take that to the heart, especially if you start a new relationship. They're automatically going to look at you as if you're a selfish person, which is totally fine. Build the boundaries. But, you know, how do you, somebody say, how do you tell somebody you, don't want to start a relationship right now. I'm working on myself. I'm allowing myself to not hurt anybody else. So I'm digging deep into myself to make sure that I can provide you with the same energy that I would love to be provided with. And then you can state some stuff. Love, compassion, honesty, emotional connection. A lot of us... Forget to ask for people to be emotionally connected with their inner child. When we date, we date those inner child wounded beings, including your own. So we're going to take out one oracle. And I believe this message was good. This was really good. I didn't know I was loud. Oh, my God. Well, I'm Cuban, but hold on. Remember to come back to this video. It's going to be for the next two months. If you guys feel a little off, these messages is going to be here. Um, it's going to be a long two months, but it's going to be worth it. <sighs> buy yourself roses. Buy yourself red flowers. Buy yourself roses. Male or female, don't wait for people to buy it for you. Send it to yourself and be surprised. <laughs> Go to flower. You know, I don't know. I don't know where to. I go to the flower shop, but you know, send some flowers to yourself and be like, "Oh my God, I got my flowers!" <laughs> it's all about the feeling. It's all about the feeling. The more that you are happy to receive things, the easier it's going to be for you during this Venus in Leo retrograde to receive assistance, because we all are in need of assistance right now. Many of us are lost. We didn't learn how to deal with our emotions in school. All right, let's pull out last card. All right, so this is from the Believe in Your Magic Oracle. This is for everybody. If this is not on point, I don't even know what to say because it's like, what? All right, focus. Bow. Confidence, it says, it comes with time and practice time and practice you can see she's on her own traveling so of course this is a travel energy for us is a transit energy with that sword on the purse it talks about our throat once again right speak your confidence the 
knife or the sword is on the outside of the bag by it being on the outside of the bag is to show up like i said earlier say it with your chest show up with the red is grounding grounding your voice when it comes to your confidence look at yourself in the fucking mirror i am worthy i choose to look good today i choose to be healthy i am sexy every time somebody looks at me they're magnetically attracted to me come back and get these affirmations i'm about to come back too <laughs> focus all right um, with her with the feet off the ground some of us may not still during this season feel like we deserve things she's holding her knees close to her chest you two plus three yes change talk to me nice i love you rodriguez you're already already giving out the messages let's go five is change change the way you talk to yourself all right i'm gonna let y'all know again i got these cards that i created i myself use them all the time Hold on. And I'll break them down into the spiritual, the emotional, the mental, and we already experienced the physical. So you're not necessarily affirming anything. You're just asking your brain to have that shit show up. Why am I creating enjoyable moments to celebrate every day you keep saying that to yourself and your brain's gonna be like what do you mean why like this is why like because we like to have fun so i'm gonna take you to this event and you're gonna meet some amazing people in your emotional side why am i slowly forgiving the past you just keep asking yourself that and your brain will shift it for you believe in your power you are powerful Spiritually, why do I feel connected? Why do I feel so connected to my intuition? Why do I feel so connected to my intuition? All right, let's see what this um, confidence says. All right. Confidence, it comes with time and practice it seems like everywhere around you people are chatting about how confident they are and just how freeing it feels you wish you could relate to them but you haven't gotten there yet listen it's all right confidence is not an instant or overnight evolution just like with everything else it takes time practice and a lot of unlearning of toxicity go back to zero to seven years old listen to how confident your guardians were did they put themselves down oh i'm fat my hair doesn't look right what did they instill into your subconscious mind and how can you use this season to get rid of it don't forget that writing goes a long way chatting with someone that cares goes a long way and calling in, call in for support. Sometimes we don't have the strength to look for it. Call it in. All right. I love y'all. This was amazing. I'm here Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Peace. Like I'm back. I love ya. <laughs> All right. I'll see y'all. Just waiting to make sure that you guys come back to this video, okay? All right. Now I'm out.